The U.S. Navy has identified the two aviators killed in last week's Growler crash near Mount Rainier. They are Lieutenant Serena Wileman and Lieutenant Commander Lindsey Evans. Both originally are from California. King 5's Cornelius Hawker was in Oak Harbor where the community is enduring this difficult news. People who live here in Oak Harbor say the Navy is part of their community. Their kids grow up together. They become friends with spouses. Service members retire here. So the deaths of two aviators is painful. In the wake of the October 15th crash near Mount Rainier, Lieutenant Commander Lindsey Evans and Lieutenant Serena Wallman are being remembered for their military service. The two women were part of the Electronic Attack Squadron 130, known as the Zappers. In July, they finished a deployment in the Middle East where the Navy says they both distinguished themselves in combat operations that cemented their legacies. According to the Navy, Evans coordinated and executed multiple combat strikes against Houthi-controlled areas in Yemen and implemented new warfare tactics as the squadron's training officer. Wallman oversaw all detachment operations in support of Operation Prosperity Guardian to safeguard vessels in the Red Sea and Operation Inherent Resolve to combat the Islamic State. The news of their deaths has hit hard for many in Oak Harbor. It breaks your heart. And it's really hard to talk about because they are part of our community. Margaret Livermore has called Oak Harbor home since 1982. She says whether or not you served, everyone here has a connection to NAS Whidbey Island. Everybody feels connected and it's a really tough thing. Whether they're a spouse or veteran or current military person. I mean, we're just all connected, it seems like. Cheryl Grahan served in the Navy and has called Oak Harbor home since 1996. She says the deaths are a painful reminder of the danger service members face. These are human beings that sacrificed their life for us and just, it's, it's just, it's emotional. Heartbroken, obviously. Teresa Besall has lived here since 1965. Many people in her family have served, so she feels the pain personally. Immediately, I think about not only their families, but that the that entire squadron. There's such a brotherhood and sisterhood there. Lieutenant Commander Evans and Lieutenant Wildman were both 31 years old. The Navy is still investigating the cause of this crash. In Oak Harbor, Cornelius Hawker, King 5 News. And for the first time, we are hearing from President Biden following the deaths of the two aviators. In a statement, he wrote, we pray for their families, loved ones, and squadron mates, and we will always honor their service and sacrifice.